What we're going to be going over here is just a basic understanding of what a deferred tax liability is and also what a deferred tax asset is here. So let's start out with a deferred tax liability. And by definition, what it means here is any temporary difference that in reversing itself causes taxable income to be higher than financial or book income. And we're going to be just going over an example here. We're going to be looking at four years here, not to get lost in the numbers, but it'll show you how we make our calculations and uh, what the difference is here. And we're going to be looking at our financial in, uh, accounting here uh, versus our tax accounting. And when we mean by financial accounting, they commonly refer to that as our book accounting basis here. And uh, both the tax accounting and the financial accounting ha can be have a difference here be uh, when we're determining our taxable amounts here. So we're looking at our depreciation expense here. And let's just look at how, uh, for example, here, how it becomes a deferred tax liability. So we're going to have, everything is in hundreds or in thousands of dollars here. So our income here, we're going to have just for each of those four years, $200,000 per year. And we're going to just say we have a constant or straight line depreciation here of $25,000 for each of those four years here. So difference uh, between our income here before our expense here uh, of is $200,000 less $25,000 here in a depreciation expense gives us taxable income here of $175,000. And we'll look at those for each of those four years here. So a tax expense, now remember that's key here. When you're dealing with financial or book accounting here, you refer to it as a tax expense. And we'll just say it's 40% here times our taxable income here, $175,000. So we're going to have a tax expense for each of these four years here of $70,000. Okay, so let's go look at our tax accounting and the difference here. So again, we're going to have the same income, but our depreciation expense for tax accounting, in this case, we were able to use accelerated depreciation. So we're going to have greater depreciation here in the early years here uh, for our tax accounting versus our financial or book accounting here. So for our depreciation here for uh, first year here in tax accounting, we had 33000 and then looking at the numbers here for the next years here, you can look at them. 44,000 second year, 15,000 for the third year, and 8,000 for the fourth year here. So our taxable income, just the difference between our income before and our depreciation expense, we come up with taxable income here of 167,000 for the first year here, 156,000 second, and higher here at 185,000 in the third year here, and 192,000 in the fourth year. So all I want to do is go through these numbers here. And what are we talking, and now we, let's first do our tax payable here. When tax accounting, you de it, it would be a tax payable here versus financial accounting, you talk about tax expense. So that, that's the definition here. Again, 40% here times the taxable income, and you're going to be showing these amounts here that I'm showing. We can go through them later here, but you're going to see here that our tax payable here in these later years here uh, looking at year X3 we got 74,000 here for our tax accounting versus uh, ex our tax expense here in our financial accounting here 70,000 and then for that last year uh, again 76,000 here for tax accounting or tax payable here 76,800 versus 70,000 here for tax expense for financial accounting so uh, why do we call that a liability here because our, and for our tax accounting we have a higher tax payable here uh, versus our tax expense here for book or financial accounting. So that's a liability. We're going to have to pay more taxes out here in those later years here. So you, what you want to really, for the liability, you want to just make the comparison. Look at, lay the, when you're working with these problems, you don't understand what's going on, or it might be a little hard to uh, think it through here. Use, then put it down in paper here and determine what your tax expense is for those years here. And you have to do that when you're doing your recording anyway here. And versus your tax payable here for your tax accounting. And then make the comparison here. So you can see here, we talk about a liability because we have a greater tax payable here in those later years here than our tax expense here for financial or book accounting. So now let's go down and let's look at how we record these here. So I have it laid out in T-account form here. And because we have that defined here as a deter deferred tax liability, you can debits and credits will be same as any liability account. And then we're going to have the tax payable. That's for our tax accounting that we calculated here. And we've got to record that. Again, that's a liability here, both on our balance sheet and then our tax expense. I'm showing it on our income statement for financial accounting or book accounting here. I've got, so keep track of your debits and credits here. 
when you lay these things out. So for starting with our tax expense here, that comes right off our financial or book accounting here. That was that $70,000 for each of those four years. So debit your tax expense here for, for each years X1 through X4 for $70,000. Now our tax payable, that's going to come right off our tax accounting that we calculated here. First year here, 66 eight. 66,800, then 62,400 second, 74,000 here for the third year here, and 76,008 here for the fourth year here. So now the deferred tax liability, and we can either subtract the difference, look, we're really looking at the difference between our payables here and our tax payable versus our tax expense. Tax expense is for the book, tax payable is for our tax basis. So for looking at year X1 here, uh, we had a debit here of our tax expenses, $70,000 versus a credit here on our payable of 66800 So we need another crediting balance and that's really the difference between our tax expense and our tax payable here. So we credit that for 3000 200 or 3.2 I'm showing here. So that's how you that's how you're handling your deferred tax liability here for that first year and then the second year just look again make your comparison between your tax expense debit here versus uh, 70,000 versus your credit here and your payable is 62,400 so we're going to need another crediting balance here of 77,600 dollars 7,600 here for a deferred tax liability and then for the uh, years here where you, now you can see where it switched here. It got higher. Our tax payable became higher than our tax expense as we calculated up above here. So again, make your comparison. You had a debit here of 70,000 for your tax expense, a credit here of 74,000 for your tax payable. So you're gonna need a debiting balance here and that goes for your deferred tax liability of $4,000. So here's again where your liability is being reversed here. You're reducing your deferred tax liability by 4,000. And the same here for the last year. Just make your 70,000 here debit versus a, uh, expense versus payable here a 76.8. So we need a debiting balance here and that goes reduction here to our deferred tax liability of 6,800. So what we've done here is we've reversed it out here. We got higher taxes here payable or ta for our tax accounting here it became higher on our uh, for tax payable versus our tax expense here for our book accounting of seventy thousand dollars and then going back to our definition here deferred tax liability again that's any temporary difference that in reversing itself causes taxable income to be higher than the financial or book income and that's what we looked at here we got taxable or tax payable here for our tax accounting here became higher than our tax expense for our book accounting here in those later years here. So that's what we mean by deferred tax liability. And just remember when you're recording the deferred tax liability here, uh, you remember you get your debits and credits as a liability here, and then you just look at the difference between your tax expense and your tax payable. So really any one of these can be plugged numbers here, but really when you're doing your problems, just remember you have to determine what your tax expense is. That's for the book basis here, and then you have to determine what your tax payable, that's per the tax accounting records. Difference between those two is gonna, in this case, give us a deferred tax liability. Okay, so now let's go up and let's look at, let's go over through a deferred tax asset. Okay, so deferred tax assets, that's where any temporary difference that in reversing itself causes taxable income to be lower than financial or book income. Okay, so next let's go through our deals here. Lay it out here, we've got our financial or book income, look at those four years here, versus our tax accounting income here again over those four years. So in this case, we're gonna be looking at a some prepaid revenue here, that see a prepaid revenue of some sort that we received here. So uh, here's financial accounting. Again, I'm just gonna be looking at income of $100,000 of each of these four years here. And we're gonna have some prepaid revenue here. Uh, say we, we receive $30,000 in revenue here for some subscription or something that we sold here. So financial accounting, we're gonna recognize it we're going to accrue it as we earn it here, but for our tax accounting, we're going to have to recognize it when the cash was received. So we're going to, in that first year here, we're going to receive $30,000 in revenue of some sort in a cash 
in a, on a cash basis here for tax accounting. But now for a financial accounting, that's, it's a timing difference. We're not going to record any revenue. We're going to accrue it over those next three years here. So just looking at our income, we had 100000 here. Prepaid revenue, nothing for financial accounting in that first year here. But we're going to look at $10,000 here over each of the next three years here. So our finance, taxable income, just sum up it here. So first year, 100000 Next year's X2 through X4, 110000 Now our tax expense, remember financial accounting, we deal with a tax expense, 40000 our 40% here times our taxable income. So we get 40,000 in the first year here and a tax expense and then 44,000 for each of the next three years here. Now for tax accounting here, we have to, uh, we have to realize this cash or this uh, revenue when uh, it would say it was prepaid was received here at $30,000. So we always recognized here in the first year here, but none in the third years here, so or the later years, X2 through X4. So our taxable income, uh, for first year here is 130000 and then for years X2 through X4, it's $100,000. So again, tax payable, 40% times our taxable income here, 130000 So we get 52000 in that first year here and 40000 in each of the next three years here. So here's what we're talking about, a tax asset here, uh, deferred tax asset here. So you can see uh, our tax accounting here, we have a lower tax payable here in these uh, later years here than our tax expense here for our book or financial accounting. 44000 for each of those three years here for the uh, uh, tax expense uh, versus 40000 here for the tax accounting. So that's what we talk about a tax asset here. We're going to be paying less taxes here uh, for our tax accounting than we are for our financial or book accounting. And then go down and just record it, same as we did before. I'm just showing it in T-account T form here. We're going to have tax expense here, a financial accounting here, and then just take it right off your uh, off your calculations that we made up here. 40000 for the first year, 44000 for each of the next three years here. And then for tax payable, again, off our calculations here. And remember, tax payable, that's for tax accounting here. So credit that here. And remember, this is a liability account here, 52000 for the first year, 40000 for each of the next three years here. So now is where we come in and we remember how we define a deferred tax asset. So again, this is an asset account. Make sure your debits and credits are right here. So uh, the deferred tax asset is simply the difference here. We have a credit. Let's look at the first year here. Tax payable, 52000 versus tax expense here, a credit of 52000 here versus a debit or tax expense here of 40000 So uh, we need a debiting balance here, and that goes to our deferred tax asset here. So difference 40 minus 50, or 52 minus 40 is going to give us 12000 here. So we got a debit here, deferred tax asset of 12000 to balance it out here. So that's how we would determine our deferred tax asset here. Simply the difference between our tax payable, in this case a credit here, versus a debit here on our tax expense. So we need that other debiting amount here for deferred tax asset. And it's an asset account. Now for each of the next f three years here, again, just look, make the comparison we had. Tax payable here, 40,000 credit here, versus debit here and a tax expense on our income statement again here. 44,000. So the difference means our debit here is big, uh, greater than our credit, so we're going to need a crediting amount here in deferred tax asset of $4,000. Okay, so the credit here in deferred tax asset you can see is reducing uh, our deferred tax asset here for each of those three years. So it's reverse. We start out with a debit here of uh, uh, 12000 and then reduced it for each of the next years here by 4000 So we come up with a zero amount here, a zero balance. So then that's what we're talking about here. A deferred tax asset, we have lower tax payable here in those later years here than the tax expense, uh, f tax expense for financial accounting. And you've seen how we handle that here with a deferred tax asset. We started out here with an asset amount here of 12,000 and then we reduced it for e by 4,000 for each of the next three years. Okay, so again, back to our definition here, deferred tax asset, that's any temporary difference that in reversing itself causes taxable income to be lower 
than financial income here. So here's our taxable income or tax payable here. 40,000 here is lower than our tax expense or our financial income. Okay, so that takes care of our definition here. And when you're dealing with these problems, lay it out here in as we did up above here where we looked at looked at each of those years here and we make our comparison between our financial income here and our tax income or our tax accounting versus financial accounting. Okay, so let's go down and let's just summarize this here. Okay, what I'm just showing here is a nice little chart here. And you can reason it out if you want here, but when we're talking about these temporary differences, they can either be revenue expenses, and it's really when we record it on our book or our financial accounting versus our tax or our tax accounting. And then we're going to look at just the deferred tax effect here. So we're looking at a revenue here where it's recorded on the book earlier and, uh, and on this revenue and the tax later, then it's going to be a liability here because you're going to be paying uh, more taxes here later. Okay, and then revenue here where it's on the book later here versus the tax early here, earlier here it's going to be an asset here because you're going to be paying less taxes later. And then for our expense items here, uh, the expense, if it's expense on the book earlier versus uh, expensing on a tax later, again, it comes out to be an asset because you're going to be paying less tax. Uh, it's going to be an asset account here. And then for the expense, if it's recorded on the book later and the tax earlier, then it's a liability here. And nice little chart to write down and reference if you have to. And then just by when we're talking about a liability here, that's a future taxable amount. You're going to be paying taxes on the difference between the book and the tax basis here. So that's a taxable amount here. And in the asset here, that's referred to as a future deductible amount. That's why we can re reduce, it or reduce our taxes in the later years here. And just by definition here, liability, future taxable amount, asset, future deductible amount. Okay, so that'll take care of our discussion here on deferred tax assets and deferred tax liabilities. Uh, and get, just so we get an understanding of what they are.